Yeah, he, he's, he's actually in trouble here. Why are the pieces in the wrong place? Uh, because we're not playing chess anymore. We're playing 960. Yeah, you only, you only look at it, you're like, wait, why are the pieces on the wrong squares? Knight and the Rook, everything's wrong. <laughs> the side is broken, your pieces are not on the right squares. Yeah. Yeah, you're just like, yeah, I can imagine if, if you don't play 960 at all and you just suddenly tune in the stream, you look and you're just like, you look and you're like, wait, 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 what, why is everything wrong? So, okay, let's play Arena Kings. Here we go. Or actually, no, the mic, mic should be here. Why am I moving down? Should still be here. Um, I remember watching Byron 2017 and talking with you about, about, I didn't even look at the board. I just played a silly without looking. Maybe that's bad because it's 960. Um, yeah, I mean, I want, I definitely wanted to meet up with him afterwards because we, we didn't actually have a chance because, of course, basically around 2019, 2020, the pandemic hit, which, of course, stopped traveling. I know uh, he wanted to do some stuff, but, you know, it's, it's, it's what it is, I guess, is simply the, the way of putting it. Yeah, I don't know what my position is here. I'm going to go here in Castle, I guess. Although I gave him the center for no good reason. What am I doing here, actually? What am I doing? Wait a second. I guess I'll go here and hit the pawn. I should have played Bishop G7 first. I don't know what I'm doing. D5. I mean... This is a pretty bad start for me. But I'll go here and trade, I guess. Go here and Rook C8. My king is a little bit, little bit wild here. But it's not bad yet. Uh, I guess I go... Here he can check. I go back, of course. I'm gonna go f6 and bishop f7 and bring all my pieces into the into the game. Go here. Go here. I could have maybe sacked as well. It would have been kind of interesting. Because there I go here, of course. I'm still obviously worse. It's just a question of how much worse am I? Am I like much worse or only a little bit worse? Because g3 runs into knight f knight f3 here. Plays f3, which I actually don't think is a good move. I feel like I should have some trick here. Maybe knight f4. I think I'm just going to go f6, actually, bishop f7. Keep it very simple. Because now I also have knight h4 to hit the bishop on, or hit the knight on h5. Bishop e2. Now, that also looks wrong to me somehow. Maybe I just go here. He's trying to go g3, I guess. I guess he wants g3. That's got to be the only idea he has here. I guess I'll go here. Actually, I don't know why I did that. That didn't do anything. Okay, so we can obviously draw here. I can play on. Um. Oh, this is a tough spot. I mean, I think I'm going to play on. I'm going to go rook c6, which probably is a mistake, by the way. But I'm going to try it. There's bishop c3. Funny thing is, I, I really want to kind of sack here, but I don't think it's a good idea. A little bit low on time, too. Such a weird position. I have no time here. I just kind of have to move, okay. So I'm going to go here and go knight, knight f4, maybe? Such a weird position. My bishop should also be on f7 here, not not um not g6. Um but I feel like I'm slowly starting to unwind this just a little bit. Tempted to sack and exchange again, but I don't think I should. Um. Okay. Uh, fudge it. Let's sack. I don't know if this is good, but I I wanted to sack for a long time, so I'm just gonna sack. Let's go here. Oh, I should have gone f5 and opened the diagonal. Why did I do this? That was just insane by me. Wait, but now I blunders the pawn. Wait, now it's game on. I have 93. I mean, this is just a draw, I guess.
What am I doing? I just have to move. Oh, I should've gone to E3 too. Getting tricky here. He's a little bit low on time. This is 3 0, so I mean. Okay, now I go in though, and I'm. Oh, I'm not in time. go block and i win the game huge win what a win i think a tpk for the four months tough first game i don't know if it's right but i, I kind of it's so early that i might as well go for it in the first game that was a, that was a, that was a pretty good game that was a pretty good game we both played that very well okay, i'm gonna move even though i don't know if i'm hanging anything but it looks like a good move i actually need, again i didn't look at the position so i don't know why i'm playing let's go f4 oh i hung a pawn okay yeah why am i being so so weirdly aggressive. I, I didn't even look at the board. I'm just making moves. And now, now I see the position. Now, now at least I see the position. So my bishops are actually quite decent here. I've got two two open lanes. B4 is one way to play this. It's very aggressive. I'm gonna go for it though. That I don't like. Okay, I'm gonna go A3. I guess I'll take with the rook. Why not? First of all, this allows a check. Oh, can he castle maybe? Oh, he can almost castle. Wait a second. Let's go here. Oh, I should have gone queen b1 and knight a4 maybe. He has to be very careful not to just lose here though. Oh, he goes king d7, which I think is way too much. I mean, he's, he's, he's getting sauce. So There's going to be some kind of a very bad. There's going to be something really bad happening to him on the queen side here. Or not. Maybe not, actually. It's queen a6, which I missed. It's queen a7, which I think is wrong. Because now I'm gonna I'm gonna go rook b1. And maybe I should have played c5. I go here. Okay, I think this is close to loss now. I guess I go c5. D5 knight. I mean, this looks terrible. I also have like knight b6 and c6. And I'm just crushing him. Again, very important to note that he can't castle either. Like if he could castle, he maybe struggles on. But with c7, this fork, I mean, it's an absolute disaster. We're going to win again. This all looks very badge. Yeah, this doesn't look sad. This just looks badge. I, I agree. It just looks badge. Yeah, that, that just looks very bad. What can I say? Okay, let's play E4. I don't even know if this is good or not, but I, I'm just going to make my first move without thinking. Why did I play Queen H5? That doesn't do any... Wait, what? Okay, he blunders a pawn at the start. Now, now of course, I'm up a pawn and doing really well. So go G3. The problem for my opponents is Rook is very bad here. Let's go here. Beer? No, this is not beer. This is caffeination. I think I'm just better here, actually. It's big problems. This rook is really bad. Yeah, he goes there. I mean, H. I'm gonna go H4 and H5. I'm gonna try to trap the knight. Bye, 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 birdie. His knight is just trapped. <laughs> yeah, knight is just trapped here. Just D4. I mean, I think I just go back. Nothing you can do. Knight is just dead. He just got a dead pony. Um, I mean, everything wins here, but I'm just going to go D3. Keep it simple. I mean, I just have a piece. Like, if I can't win this, then shame on me. Go here, hit all the pawns.
Yeah, it's just over. Let's go queen f5. Again, he can't castle either. Oh, wait, no, sorry. He moved the king on move two, so he can't castle no matter what. But definitely can't castle here. There's g6. I just take. I mean, just an absolute disaster. Okay, quick win. Two out, two out of two. Let's keep going. Oh, am I three out of three? I, no, I'm two out of two. Oh, no, I'm three. Oh, no. Oh, I'm just, I'm bad at math. Oh, uh, wait. Let's go here and hit the pawn. Uh, I'm going to be a Bobby Fisher and take. I, I like my free pawns. And if he goes G3, I take the knight. So my bishop is not getting stuck here. Okay, of course I have to take. We, we don't want to be like a Bobby Fisher. Uh, I guess I'll go, uh, I go E5, I guess. I don't know if E5. Okay, please C4. I'm going to go knight G6. I don't want to hang a pawn. Okay, let's go here. Go here, take the center. I have a nice big black center. I can take and go bishop e6. I guess I'll just go like here. I'm just going to castle, I guess. Somebody's king is open, but I mean, he has two bishops, but I feel like I'm just going to go all in and attack here. No, let's just go. I'm not worried. I'm just going to play a4 and just attack. Attack, attack, attack. A four, I guess I take. I'm gonna go, I have bishop f5, which is kind of a weird move. I can also just play, I uh, know, maybe just e4 and just like, I don't know, like takes knight g4. I mean, I feel like I'm just clearly better here with bishop, bishop e6 next move, but it goes d4, another move that I don't like. I'm just gonna go here. And I, I mean, he's got no attack. So I just have a free hand or an invisible hand to attack on the, on the queen side here. Yeah, I just have an invisible hand. Um, let's go here. Queen before queen a5. Let's go here. Your opponent's Ukrainian show mercy. No, no, no can do's uh, I'm just going to sack. Go check and queen e3. Queen b3. Yeah, it's just GG's. Everything's just collapsing. I have queen c2. I've got queen e2 mate. Yeah, this is GG's right on the spot. Okay, let's keep going. Mm-hmm. Let's keep going. Next game. Four out of four. Mm. The Adam Smith Moore Gambit. Right. Okay. Yeah, he only had delusions of an attack. Exactly. Okay, we're four out of four. So far, so good. Let's keep going. I'm just gonna move. I'm not even gonna look at the position. I'm just I'm basically playing my first move blind, mostly. I look like half I look for half second. I look tired. Well, the lighting is not great. I will I will say that. The lighting is not perfect. Um, I guess I go knight g6, try to develop. I mean, again, I didn't look, I'm not looking at the position. I'm literally just trying to play chess. Goes knight d3 now. As I, I think I've alluded to this before, I think this is a mistake. Um, the way he's trying to play this position. Although he's playing this pretty well. I'm going to go here. Really trying to make this, make this weird. Uh, that's a pawn I will gladly take. If I take with a knight or the, ooh, uh, if I, ooh, uh, I guess I take with the rook. I want to take with a knight, but then he has rookie one, and this pawn is very soft. So I need to keep the knight to guard the juicer so I can drop the juicer back. Also, like, knight d6 next move, too. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, yeah, ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh. Uh, it goes queen b2. I mean, this is actually a little bit strange. I might be in a little bit of trouble. Um... I guess I go Rook F8. It's Queen G7. Knight D6 should be fine. I'm still holding all the glue. Um, I do have to be a little bit careful here, though. Just a little bit careful. You're never in trouble if you're Hikaru. Oh, you definitely... I'm definitely in some trouble somewhere, but... Although, if he takes, I just take and run back. And my king gets out. Like, he could take, take, and then castle with check. Uh, on e1 and then i go uh, i go king d8 queen f6 king c7 i'm fine so yeah this should be good for me oh wait sorry no i'm losing my mind sorry if he castles sorry if he castles the king goes to g1 not f1 sorry what am i doing the king it's not check if he cat if he castles if he castles the rooks on f1 it's not it's not king f1 rookie one <laughs> it's king d1 rook f1 yeah i just yeah okay uh, that's that's not so good 
That's really not so good. Castling rules. Yeah, I, 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 I might need to read the manual. I'll go here and hit the hit the rook on h1. Yeah, he plays rookie one. I mean, I can obviously go shock. Good knight e8 here, knight f6. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna trade the juicers here. Just trade the queens. Trade the queens and, and make the make the make the win in the end game. As as we all learned, uh, you just is there a manual? There is a manual. Yes. G4, but now I go f5. I mean, the pawns are pretty good here too. Oh, I missed knight f6. Shoot, shoot, that was very poor by me. Shoot. Oh, this is actually not very good. I'll go here. This is actually problematic. I might be in a little bit of trouble here. Maybe not though. I'm holding everything barely. Oh, knight e8 is knight of. Oh wait, but I can take and go knight e8. This. Oh no, I hung f5. Shoot, he missed. Uh, he missed it, but he didn't miss it. He did miss it. F5 was hanging. He missed it. Okay. Now, now I should be able to win this. I think I go here. Guard the pawn. If he takes, I take. I still have f6. Position's pretty good. Don't have f6 here. Probably should have put the knight on g7. Knight was better on g7, so I could play f6 and hold all the glue. Still probably good for me, but not not easy to prove. If I go f6, now he takes. I take, take, knight, f6, king here. Get f8. Oh, how do I win this, actually? It's not easy. Hmm. gf4, gf4, king f7. No, gf4, gf4. No, I don't have a way to win. I guess I'll go g4 here. This is 3-0 though. I don't know why I'm thinking so long. Okay, I go f6, of course. I force him to take. I would have loved to have taken with the pawn, but knight f6 was a problem. Uh, Picho, Picho just said on stream, nothing, nothing changed about Hikaru always winning. It only changes for us mortals. <laughs> Wait, isn't the knight getting trapped here? Isn't my man trapping his own juicer? I mean, that's why I play G4 to lock the chain. So I have King F7, G7. Yeah, we're going to get another fifth one in a, in a row. Very smooth start to Arena Kings. And I go here and the, the, the pony is dead again. Okay, now I go here. Go here, lock the king in jail. Another win. There we go, next game. Okay, pretty good start. Very, very good start. We're five out of five. We're right behind Emilio Chess 2025, which I don't understand. It should be higher. I'm not looking at the board. I'm just going to move. Uh, and that is an okay move, it looks like. Yeah, I'm actually... Oh, wait. I was about to blunder with d4. That would have been bad. I'm going to go b4. I open up the diagonal, but I think I'm okay here. Knight a4. Okay, I think I'm going to play... No, I don't want to go d3. I guess I'm going to play f4. It's a little bit bold. Oh, wait, this is Jigalka. Sorry, I didn't even realize who I'm playing. Um, Yeah, I didn't even realize this is who I'm playing. Maybe I should pay more attention before just randomly blitzing out moves. Although, I think I have queen f1, and he's in trouble. He's going to lose a pawn. Yeah, he, he's, he's actually in trouble here. Why are the pieces in the wrong place? Uh, Because we're not playing chess anymore. We're playing 960. Yeah, you only, you only look at it, you're like, wait, why are the pieces on the wrong squares? Knight and the Rook, everything's wrong. <laughs> the side is broken, your pieces are not on the right squares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're just like, yeah, I can imagine if, if, if you don't play 960 at, at all and you just suddenly tune in the stream, you look and you're just like, you look and you're like, wait, 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 what, why is everything wrong? Everything's wrong. Okay, so I take with a pawn. I'm actually not really better here either, but I'll go B5. I'm, I'm also not thinking as much as I should be, but whatever. This is a very weird position. Uh, his knight on a4 is kind of misplaced too. Wait, what? He takes? Wait a second. 
Oh wait, knight d4 hangs a2. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm gonna get sneaky with queen out three. I'm kind of, I'm gonna kind of be a little bit sneaky here. I'm gonna try to set up uh, some kind of mating threat. Queen g1. I'm just gonna go here. This might be wrong, but I'm trying to be sneaky. I'm trying to basically manually like cast my king, but open up the diags as well. It's very strange. Also, he's thinking for a long time though. So this is very hard to play for black. I also have 94, 96 with checkmate too. Like this is very tricky for black. Like C3 supports the knight jump. And these knights are, knight D4 is also, I think, and I go here, I mean, cause I have 96 and queen C6 mate. He takes, I check and then I made him on the diagonal. So very scary. In fact, I might already be winning cause I have knight C6. Thank you to Moon to chest for 13. These knights are jumping. They're very jumpy here. Yeah, these knights I think wouldn't meet the game. But I also have this fork too. I have two jumps. Now I go check. I mean, it's just over. I have queen b7 made if he takes. And he resigns. Let's go. Six out of six. Very, very good. We're, we're on a roll. We're on a roll. Six out of six. Top 16 qualifies. So uh, very, very good. What's the clock at? Clock is at 138. So it's an hour 38 left in the arena. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're smoking it. We are smoking it. Smoking it. Off to a very, very good start so far. Again, I'm just going to not look at the board and make a move. Uh, and oddly enough, we get a Siciliano. Let's go E6. Um, thank you for the 1,000 bits I seen. What about Michael Tal? What about him? I'm going to go B5 and just attack. Oh, what's the question? I'm going to go here, hit the pawn. What are you guys asking about Michael Tal? I don't understand. I take... I guess I'll go. I, I'm getting a little bit too aggressive, I think. I feel like I'm about to blunder something, but maybe not. I mean, this looks very questionable. Okay, I'll go d5, try to open it up more. I'm basically trying to play, I mean, with speed. What's the speed, violence, aggression? What is it? I don't remember what the saying. What what is the saying? Speed, speed, violence, aggression. I don't know what the what the what the what the saying is. I'm gonna take and go C4. Speed, violence, momentum. Yeah. Okay. Speed, violence, momentum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Totally. Go here. Take. I've got the fork. I can also hit the queen in one. Let's just hit the queen, and then I can take. I mean, it's still very very scary for white. Take takes wait but i wait can't i take so if he takes i queen and then i take the knight and i have two juicers for the uh two juicers for the rook but i think he has to do it anyway he doesn't have a choice queen i take this should be four here and here oh my god i blundered i allowed a checkmate shoot Oh my god, I allowed checkmate. Unbelievable. If I go queen b6, he can just take. Unbelievable. Oh, now I've won to rookie one, too. I'm getting way too... I'm just moving too fast suddenly. Yeah, I'm just moving too fast. I'm moving way too fast. Yeah, I was trying to go too fast there. That was terrible. Very poor game. I'll still qualify, but very, very poor game there to throw like that. Um, we're still 25 in. Let's go here. Yeah, I threw that game. I don't know what the bet is, but yeah. What's the mate? Yeah, he has rook takes e8. I just, I mean, I was trying to move too fast there. And I've done that in the, I've done that in the past sometimes, actually in the 960 specifically, where it's like, you just start going really fast because everything's go, everything's going too well. And you're just like, you can do anything. And you're just like, you're, you're just on, on fire. 
Bell Castle. If he takes, I take. He has a problem with his knight here on f8. Actually, can't develop. Yeah. Not a big deal in the bigger scheme of things, but still, I should have just slowed it down. Oh, is there actually? Wait, is there? Oh, is there a bet on the line? Oh, is there a bet on the line? Let's go rookie one here. Guess I'll go E5, hit the knight here. I'm just going to go C4, keep building here. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely better. It's just a question of how much better am I? Oh, no. Now my bishop is stuck behind a pawn wall, though. Oh, I trapped my bishop in the corner. Oh, why did I do that? I wasn't thinking. I'm still probably okay, but that was so stupid by me. I just trapped my, I trapped my bishop behind the pawn wall. And now I'm going to have trouble opening it, I guess. Wait, I have to be very careful now. Okay, I, ne I need to kind of slow it down a little bit. So I'll go here. Yeah, I just trapped my bishop in the corner. So stupid. So incredibly stupid by me. Hey, Rusty Panda for the six months. G Pawn looks well protected, at least. True. True story. My King Trophy is not showing during this, during the, during the, uh, during this, in this scene. Oh. That's uh, okay. You want me to move it closer? Is that better? Okay. Um, I'm going to go G4, try to open it up here. Is that better? I don't know. You guys tell me. Take the pawn. Okay. Now my queen is free at least. Still not what I wanted at all. I'll go e6 to go e7. Takes now I can. I guess I take this to take take g6 here. What am I doing actually? I guess I'll go here. This is very weird. But I can still trade the bishops here as well. Yeah, Mandal for the seven months. Thanks so much to Mandal. Uh, wait, G3, he just takes. Okay, so I have to trade the bishops. I mean, I have to take this with check. And I have to go Rook G4 to hit the queen. And now I go Knight F4, Knight G6. And now I just smash him on G6 and I win the game. Um, still tr Oh, wait, but now I can just take the pawn and I close the bishop forever. And now I go G3, open up the diagonal, and that's GG. So he sacks. Mandel 2 just subscribe. G3 knight h for king h2 is good, but not 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 necessary. Let's go here and play rookie one. Or actually, um, hmm. Actually, let's go check. I hit the king, and now I play g4, and I cover the check. No 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 knight h3 now, and now I should be winning. Although still, I feel like I've misplayed this a little bit. I go here. I have queen g6. Here, go for checkmate, queen e8, rookie 7. Check. Check and take. There we go. Okay, another win. Thank you to Willie Wurstin for the two months. What what is the bet by the way? Because I don't know what the bet is. Um, but anyway, we have, we have 23 points. I'm obviously doing completely fine. Okay, I don't know if that was a good pre-move. That's a pre-move by me. I'll just take. Okay, I'll go here. I kind of want to play some new age hippie chess. Yeah, let's play some new age hippie chess with Rook H5. Uh, although I really don't know why I did this. <laughs> this is probably just so stupid of me. Go here. My rook on h6 doesn't really make any sense. Like, more than doesn't, it's just, it's really stupid. But okay, whatever. 
11 points in the next 19 minutes, and I play a garbage opening like this. Very smart by me. I'm going to go G5. I mean, this looks ridiculous, but go here. Uh, why did I do... Actually, why did I play like this? I didn't realize there was a bet. Is this Aussie? Yeah, it is Aussie. Oh, if I play E6, he can take and go Bishop H. Oh, I got to move. Wait, why did it say I'm going to auto resign if I don't make a move? Here, I mean, I'm hanging by a thread. I'm obviously in a lot of trouble here. Probably I'm losing somehow, but I don't see the forced win here. Hmm. I don't actually like that move. I think I go G4 and F5 now. Because now the problem is that even though white is still better, I think. Um, wait, I have to come with a move though. Maybe I can play D5, very bold. I work on H6 as that. Oh wait, I can actually make use of it on H2 maybe? But no, I think Knight D6 is a safe, safe approach. Because now I can take and still go Rook H2 here. Or not. Just go here. Whatever. It's a king. My king is safe. Kind of. Takes, I guess. Uh, hmm. I guess knight of five must be right. So I got, I got to start moving quicker. This is three zero. There's no increment, so I have to start moving definitely a lot quicker. Oh, rookie! It was a stupid move by me too. But go here. I got, I got to start moving quick. I should have gone to d8 also. Okay, I guess uh, queen c5. Actually, wait, I can run my king up maybe? I mean, this is this is so stupid, but... Funny thing is, h2 is still hanging. Like, somehow my rook is magically on the one square where it belongs. So weird. Yeah, somehow my rook is magically on the only square where it can be good. Opponent is Picho, Picho. No idea. Yeah, but see, he does this and now I take. I mean, this is ridiculous. Somehow my rook is like on the only square where it belongs. Now I have like knight d5 too. And suddenly just like that, he's getting mated on. <laughs> suddenly my rook is like a god. I don't even understand how, but somehow my rook is a god on h2 out of nowhere, out of thin air. I don't even understand this, but somehow it is. And now I just go here and I consolidate. And now I'm just doing great. I could have maybe taken a2, I'm not sure, but yeah, somehow I'm just like probably just winning now. That's, again, that's why the rook belonged on h6, end of the day. I, I knew it belonged somewhere like that. Um, Let's go here and hit the pawn. I'll go here, force queens off the board. Once queens come off, I mean, I'm just, just winning on the spot. I could have also traded first maybe, but whatever. Play normal chess? No, this is a Rainy Kings, you guys. There's $500 prize on the line. I need, what, 19 points in 11 minutes? Or 11 points in 19 minutes? I think I need 11 points in 19 minutes. Yeah, I just go here, H4. I mean, let's go here. Go here. Okay, now I go here and take, and it's just over. Okay, next game. Let's keep going. When you ignore free pawn long enough, your opponent will think it's protected. Yeah, that was hilarious. Um, okay, let's just go B3. I don't know if it's a good move, but I'll play it. Let's have some fun here. I don't know if this is right, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to go G3, maybe C4. Okay, I have C4 here. I'll just take, though, because if he takes, I take and I have Queen F3, I think. 96. I don't understand that move. Maybe knight h3. Oh, wait, then he has queen h4. Okay, he has a trick here. Let's just go f5. Or, I mean, I feel like the, these knight these knights are kind of misplaced, but I have to prove it somehow. So I guess I'll go here, start developing my pieces as much as I can. I mean, f6 is a move, but I don't like it. I mean, queen f3, I don't like either. How do I activate is a question, though. 
I'm gonna go f6. I'm gonna put the bishop in jail here. It's in jail permanently now behind the pawn wall. I'll obviously check, but I think d4 is a good move too. I'm gonna go queen d2 and just manually castle. Uh, I guess I go here, hitting the knight. C4 is a very big threat now, actually. I love you. Look at these knights, by the way. These knights are terrible on F4 and D5. Okay, I think I can call his bluff. I, can I call his bluff and go C4 or not? I think I can. But you know what? I don't really... Huh, I can definitely call his bluff. The question is, should I call his bluff with C4? C4, knight before, queen b4, bishop h1. I think it's okay, but I, I don't I don't really see the point to, to it. I think I'm just gonna go here and bishop f3 maybe. So here's sidestep any tricks. And again, like I said, he's got this very, very bad bishop in the corner. If I can finish my development, I'm just going to be winning, basically. Okay, I'm going to go a3 here. Just stop knight before nonsense, and eventually just bishop b2 and c1, or even just trade the knights because he has a dead, dead bishop. Okay, now it's time to start... Um, how do I do this, actually? I guess I just go here and just play chess. Who cares? It's just a pawn. Bell his cluff, you mean call his bluff. What happened to the rankings? The rankings are here. I just don't always have it. Okay, I'll just go back. Oh, I gave Knight G2. That was kind of stupid. Oh, wait, no. I just take. Never mind. He's just lost. I missed this for a second, but now it's over. Okay, let's keep going. Didn't even look at the board. I just played E4. Let's hope it's okay. Wait, if I take E5, it takes E4. Hmm. I have an extra tempo, though. Somehow this extra tempo should play. I'm... here I thought I had a knight on f1 yeah it's gonna start developing I guess I go here oh the knight's either is a terrible move he missed uh something there let's go f4 to stop bishop e5 he plays d5, which I saw, but I didn't think that was actually a great choice. D3. No, it is a good choice. Ah, yeah, yeah. I miss playing this. Now I'm probably in a little bit of trouble. I also moved the rook so I can't castle, which is another big problem here. Well, I guess I go h3 and takes. is not what I want. Okay, I have to do this. Oh, he goes knight f6. I did not actually expect that. Uh, let's go here. Wait, I should be okay if I'm smart about this. There should be a way. Um, queen f5. One stupid move is actually probably going to cost me the game, potentially. And now I just blundered knight c4. Uh, so poor. Again, I feel like I'm doing what I was doing before. I'm moving a little bit too quickly. I have to go f5 here. I'm trying to create some kind of tricks. I also said bishop d2 maybe, but... Yeah, I knew we'd go queen g4. I assumed I had something here, but maybe I just have nothing. I guess I just go here. I also need to use the restroom, so I'll probably take a break after this game. I need a rogue bison for the seven months. I need so much a rogue bison.
Oh, did I just hang this too? Oh, I didn't even see knight f5. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing what I did last game where I just I move instantly and it's just completely wrong. Or not last game, but a few games ago where I just move instantly and I assume that I'm okay. I'm probably losing somehow. I don't know. I don't see it in instantly, but I I'm guessing. I don't. I mean, Knight of Five I was one of a few moves that he had. I actually didn't even see Knight of Five, but okay. I mean, whatever. The game goes on. Vita game is crazy. It's winning with one move. Oh wait, wait, wait a second. This is wait. This is not the right order. Wait, Ronak did this in the wrong order. Wait a second. Now it's kind of game on. Oh, I should have gone to D2 and played Knight C1. Why did I go to C1? Wait, but now I have check. Yeah, why did I go to C1? This was also stupid. I should have gone to D2 and played Knight C1. Wait, I can't play Knight F4. Can't really take on G4. What am I doing? King E8, King E7 takes, takes King G8. But King F... Knight F3. Let's go for it. Oh, this is 302. I forgot. This is 30. Wait. This is 30. I, I don't get increment. I have to actually move fast. This is 30. Um. I forgot that this was 30. Take. Hopefully I'm not lost somehow. Ronick has definitely misplayed this though. Um here. Of course I hung Queen A5. Obviously I hung this too. Yeah, I just lose I just lose somehow, I assume. Yeah, I missed that. Yeah, yeah, I just lose. I gotta use the restroom. I'll play one more and then I'm gonna go to the restroom. One more for 19, right? One more for 19. Yeah. That game was bad. I should not have lost that, but I also just blundered early. Let's win this game quickly. Take. Yeah, I should not have lost that, but whatever. We'll get. We'll, get, we'll win this game, and then, then, um, and then, then I'm gonna take a break because I really do need to use the restroom. Already lost. We need two wins. Okay. Well, fine. Then I'll. I guess I'll play one more before we break. Just resign, please. Resign, please. Resign. Come on, dude. Just resign. Seriously. Come on. Come on. Please resign. Okay, resigns. Let's go again. One more. You get crits for the two months. One more. Can I get the next game? Let's go. Where's the next? Where's the next game? Oh no! Now I'm gonna get. Oh. Wait, that that doesn't hang a queen, does it? No. Okay, let's go here. Oh no, he could push a pawn. No, the bet matters. I gotta win the bet for the belie for the believers. There's something that I have here, but I don't see it. So I'm gonna go knight a4 to try and really get weird. B4, that's a good move. Um, did I hang him a knight? Oh wait, no, that's a rook on e1. Never mind. Um, What's the bet? I have to win this game. I don't know how much time I have though. I guess I just take. How much time do I have? Um. Whatever. Let's just castle. I have one eleven to win. Okay, so now I just have to move quickly. Okay.
I have four minutes. No, someone said I have 111. Oh, I have four minutes to do it. Oh, okay. Well then, well then, if I have four minutes, that's obviously different. There's 111 on the. Oh, oh, oh. I wait. Do I have four minutes? Wait. You guys have to tell me. Go here. Oh, okay. So until 111 on the arena clock. Okay. So I'm actually fine then. Okay. So. Okay, so yeah, so the doubters are very unhappy then. The doubters are extremely unhappy because even a draw gets me to 34. Go here, consolidate, queen of five. Why did I do this? I don't believe this. I actually kind of made this a bit messy. Still better, I think, but I made this very messy. Go here. No, I made this very messy. This is actually not trivial at all anymore. I'm still better, but yeah. I think I have B5 here. In rook B4, I have A5. In rook A6, I go here, and now the pawn's under attack, and I'm just better. Let's go here, trap the rook, and now we win. All right, you guys, I'm going to go use the restroom in a second. Once he resigns, we go use the restroom. All right, you guys, that's good enough. Uh, I'm going to go use the restroom. I'll be right back. All right, next game, let's keep going. Okay, what are we on? We're on 35, which is good enough, so we're doing just fine. Go here. Let's make sure not to blunder something here. 52 points by 041. Okay, it goes knight b3, which I don't really like. Go here, hit the pawn. Whoa, wait a second. Bishop d4. It's actually a good move, I guess. I'll play e5 and open it up. Go back. I guess I just castle next move. Should be pretty good. Yeah, we have the bet up. Uh, it goes a four. I want to go knight d five, but somehow okay. I guess I'll just go a five here to stop it. Hmm. Oh, is he gonna try to castle kingside? I wonder. I think he might try to castle kingside. It just occurred to me. Is e4 okay? That's logical. I'll take. I'll go here. Force a trade of the rooks. Very complicated position here. I mean, I'm hitting a4, but it's very, very complex. Very, very complex. Go here. I mean, d3 is hanging. Oh, wait. Okay. And also take, but I need some. Knight b5 nonsense. Um, my instinct is I just take this one. And hopefully there's no way for him to mate me or something. I guess I go here. No fossil because he hangs the bishop in the corner pocket. And of course it's a pyramid of Jesus. So now I have knight c4 and d's knights are jumping once again. Gonna get another win here. Very, very smooth event so far. Very smooth. We should finish in the top 16 without too much difficulty, which is exactly what we want when we play in Arena Kings. That's, that's exactly what you want. Did Vita win? Everyone is debating whether A4 and Vita move. Okay, I guess I can pull it up on new monitor while we wait. Um... You're asking is Vita's is, is Vita's move is A4 obvious? 
Uh, Fide pool all groups. Uh, VD. VD versus better Uh, he played A4, no? Doesn't look... Wait, why? It just looks like a normal move. I don't understand. Why is that a hard move to find? Okay, let's focus. Um, let's take. Let's just take and take, I guess. Turkey. No, it doesn't seem like a hard... It's, it's not a hard move at all. I mean, otherwise you're in a world of hurt. That didn't look... That doesn't look hard at all. Um, okay, yeah, for you guys, maybe it is. But it looked like an obvious move to me. Um, I guess I'll go here. Oh, he found rook a3. That's really annoying. Um, oh, great. Now I blunder knight b5 to boot. Okay, let's go here. Can I just check? Take the rook. GG's. Okay, let's keep going. Next game. Up to 39 points. Pretty good stuff. Okay, we get Jigalko again. I don't even know what I'm playing. I think for a long time here. Go F6. Probably not a good move, but I'm going to do it anyway. C5. The pawn? I think he missed bishop c7. Gary still had two, not that shocking on the on the one. Oh my gosh, he's got a bishop. Oh my oh jeez. I didn't realize he had a bishop to take. Oy oy oy. Okay, now now I'm probably just slightly worse. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's the bishops move diagonally, mate. Yes, thank you. <laughs> bishops move, move diagonally. And now I'm probably just doing like garbage. Absolute garbage. Yeah, 960 making me hallucinate a little bit. Yeah, I, I mean, I am starting to miss things that I shouldn't be missing. I guess I'll go here. Queen b3 wasn't right because now bishop f3, I have knight e5. I also have rook c8. Like e5 was an idea, but now I always have rook c8 to slide and hit the queen. He's trying to make e5 work, but I think it's too late now because of rook c8. Hmm. Or he goes for that. Wait. I mean, whatever. If this doesn't work, it doesn't work. So be it. Go here. Oh, it's just mate. What am I doing? I just missed it. I just missed it. Yeah, I just missed it. I went blind. I'm being a little bit too loose. I'm being way too loose in these games now. I'm just like playing random moves and being way too loose. I need to really like kind of like slow it down. I'm just being so loose. Let's go G3 and F4. Even this game, again, like I'm just moving way too... F now I get Queen G4. Yeah, I'm just moving too fast every game now. Flexing at chat? No, that has nothing to do with karma. I'm just, I'm moving way too fast every game. I'm playing this like it's bullet or something. I'll go here. I mean, I have d5 now. Okay, I guess I go here. Go here. Maybe I can just play one good game. I'll go here. Oh, again, I missed d5 too, but I'll still do it maybe. Whatever, I'm just going to do it. I don't know if it's right. Who cares? I literally don't care. I'm going to play it anyway. Let's take. And I should just be winning. I can also castle kingside, I just realized, too. Where's bishop d7? I mean, okay, now I just go knight e4, knight f6, and if this isn't winning, I don't know what, what game I'm playing anymore. He'll probably just resign, honestly. Oh no, he has rook c8, which I didn't see. That's an important try. Take and go knight h5, I guess. Go 
I'll go to D2. I don't even know which square is right, but I think all the squares are fine. Yeah, he plays A5, I expected that. There still are some minor problems that I have to deal with here. What am I doing? Actually, I'm just going to go back and play rookie one here. Again, my king can... I can actually still castle queenside, maybe. But now I just take... No, wait, I bishop f5 or knight f5? Bishop f5 looks like the safe move. Oh, well, I can also just move the queen. Uh, this has to be winning. Yeah, I mean, I just go bishop c6 and rook c1. I... Er, okay, goes there. Let's go here. Three rook c5, rook c1. I mean, this this has to be winning. Rook d4, I trap. Rook d4, king c3, rook gets traps. So now I just trade. Okay. Sides. Let's keep going. Next game. All right, let's go to here. I don't even know if this is a move, but I'll play it instantly and hope it's okay. Build a wall here in the center. And his bishop on h8 is very bad, actually. We'll go here. All I have to do is prevent this move because he's got this problem with the bishop on h8 already. Can't go d5 because I just take. All right, assume he can't go d5 because I take. I need a serenity for the 14 months. Yeah. Pushing peas. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Wall, did you say? Wall? Yes. Yeah, the bishop is in jail behind the pawn wall. Let's go queen e4 here. I guess I take this way, just open up the c file to attack. It just has a dead bishop in the corner, so... I thought let's go d4 again. Try to open up the diagonal here. So this bishop is just so bad. So here, line up the threat. He can't castle because the queen's in the way. Again, not very concerned. I'll just castle anyway. I'm going to go here and stack the two towers, basically. Stack the towers. I let him get an active bishop, but I still should be completely fine here. Oh, I let him get bishop e5 also. Okay, let's just go a4. Obviously, I'm going to sack. Obviously, I'm going to take with the queen. Whoops. That would have been a bad slip if I played g5. I mean, the only question is, can black castle here? That's the only question. I mean, my idea is to play knight b5 here. If he can castle, he's in real trouble. Hey, a bud for the four months. Thank you for making me interested in chess again. No problem. Glad, glad you're enjoying the show. Um, let's go here again. I, this game too. I know I'm moving just way too fast. Go here. I, he can't castle. Oh no, he can castle because I don't cover the square. But I still have knight b5. We'll just go f6. I mean, he can still castle, but... Go here. Bishop g6, I just trade and go rook f1. Um, okay, let's just move our, my king out of the way. I'm going to win this game, hopefully, but I've not played this game very well. Uh, now, somehow I feel like I should be able to win on the queen side and the king side all at the same time. Of course, I allowed rook f7 like an idiot. Yeah, and now I actually am just, I'm probably just losing here. I'm just so bad at chess. I guess I go... No, I have to go here. Now I just gave him rook f8. Now I'm, I'm feeling like a total idiot. I go here. Very poor. Bud 961 just subscribed. Thank you for making me interested in Chess Hikaru. Thanks so much to Bud. Appreciate it. I mean, I, I'm probably losing, but... Wow, he doesn't take the pawn. That seems a bit much, because now I have A5 also, and Rookie 7, Knight C5. I mean, there are all kinds of tricks here with Knight C5. 
I'm totally going to try to win this game on time as well. Four. I, wait, do I really not have a move here? Wait, I can check. I can also go D7. And I have knight C5. This is very tricky. I mean, if he goes king c7, I have knight g5 for the fork. He's also got no time, so I'm totally cheesing him. Uh, I guess I go here. He took too long. Well, wait. I'm going to flag him. He was just too slow. I mean, it's his own fault. Oh my gosh, what was that? Oh, so bad. Oh my gosh, so bad. I'm still gonna finish in the top 16, but that was so bad. I'm lucky at four seconds. Okay, playing Shigalko. Time to slow it down a little bit. Just win a couple of games and stabilize the top 16. I just need like three or four wins. Just stabilize it a little bit. Deserved? Yeah, I mean, I'm at, I'm just not really finding my rhythm in the 960 for some reason. Oh, now I just hung this pop. Yeah, I'm actually being way too loose. Because I know I'm going to qualify, so I'm just kind of like making quick moves quickly. And I'm just throwing hard. 41, I need 50. How many points do I need? 54? Three times same opponent, that's actually pretty standard because I think this Arena Kings is pretty light on players. Oh, is this my fourth time playing Sergey? actually? That's a bit much, I agree. Yeah, my position is absolute trash, but I have 92. Maybe 92 saves it a little bit. Doesn't really save it, maybe just a little bit. I fumbled the last game. I'm fumbling every game is what I feel like right now. I'm just like, because I know that I'm going to finish in the top 16. I'm kind of just winging it, moving too fast. Just kind of not being serious at all. 10 points in 15 minutes. Okay, so it's not crazy. I can still get there if I win this game. But I'm being way too, way too sloppy. It plays H5, which I expected. I mean, I can go E4, I guess. I'm gonna go b4 and like queen b3 or something. I go here. What? Oh, now I miss d3 too. Oh, I'm just missing everything right now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm being horribly sloppy. Maybe I should just resign, reset, and start another game. I kind of don't really want to resign this one, but I'm being way too sloppy. Yeah, I'm being so sloppy. Um, go here. So sloppy for no reason. Actually, this is probably going to cost the believers if I play this out. I should probably just resign, honestly. But I'm going to try to play this out because I'm not so sure. I should probably just resign this to try and save the points. But I really don't want to resign. Yeah, I have B5, and there's some, like, this is a little bit weird, but maybe I have some chance. That B6 or some some nonsense, and I can hope. There's some kind of hopium here. Okay, first of all, I have Bishop B7. Why did I go to E2? I was supposed to go to D1. What am I doing, even? I'm being so sloppy. I'm being way too sloppy. I tilt is the wrong way. It's like, I'm, it's not even that I'm in tilt. I just like, I, I'm not able to take it seriously. So I'm just moving too fast every game. 
which doesn't make I mean I don't even know why but it's like because I know that I'm almost guaranteed to be top 16 I'm just moving fast every game like I can't I can't bring myself to slow down so tilt is the wrong works it's not like I'm mad and playing badly I'm just moving instantly every game even 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 when I know I shouldn't like that's the thing that I I'm, that's what I don't understand is why I can't why I can't slow down it's like can't stop won't stop or one of those memes I just like I just can't do it just can't slow down that's very strange maybe I'm bored I mean maybe that's the right word but yeah it's like I just can't slow down because I know I'm gonna finish top 16 I'm just struggling to not move instantly in every single game I look bored maybe <laughs> my brother is Sammy is ADHD oh and now he has this too which of course should be losing I don't see the force mate though I'm sure there's a mate here somewhere but yeah this is probably the mate um I should have resigned this game though for the for the believers Yeah, why, why didn't I just resign for the believers? Oh, I hung C2. Oh, he doesn't. Wait, I feel like all I have to do is somehow survive for like. All I have to do is survive for like one move. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So bad. So bad. So bad. So bad. So bad. So bad. That's so, that's so bad. That's as bad as it gets. That's as bad as it gets. I'm not going to lie. That's as bad as it gets. That is as bad as it gets. Um, need a bot for the tier one that that legitimately to repeat myself for the last time. That is as bad as it gets. That was really pathetic by both of us. Not, not, not just him and not just me. That was just pathetic by both of us. We're just trash. Eight points to go right. Eight points in how long? I mean, it was more on him for taking too long to put the game away. He should have just played good moves instead of looking for a checkmate. Just play good moves and, and, and it's over. That's all he had to do. or two. Oh, I dropped a frame. Just take, I guess. Ah, this is also garbage. Go here. I'm out of love. Set me free. No, we're still here, you guys. We're still here. We're still all good. I'm going to grab, but maybe it's wrong, but I'm going to gobble. Uh, Bishop E6 or something. But this hangs this. Oh, he's got Queen E5. <sighs> I have Knight D7 to hit the Queen, I guess. Bob 9952 just subscribed.
take? I guess I just... I did not expect that move, actually. That kind of confuses me. But what is Queen A7 doing? It's not really doing much of anything. Can obviously try to develop. Um, I feel like I, ha I should have something here, but I don't see it. I think I'm just going to go... I'm just going to play here. I don't know if this is a good move. I think I'm just going to do it anyway. My knight on a a2 is not very good here. Pretty bad, in fact. But yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing this very poorly. I just have to go here and bishop f4. And... Now I take... I mean, just blunder queen e3. h7. I guard the pawn, of course. My knight is still bad on a2, but... Okay, I think b4 has to be the right move. I need to really free the uh I need to free the knight from from a2. I mean, you can obviously on double. It doesn't. So I'll go here, attack the rook. Now, if I go rook b8, it should just be winning cuz c4 I take. If he if he takes, I take. I mean, it's just winning. I've got a very nice wooden shield. Very, very nice wooden shield here. It guards everything. Let's take. I guess I just go here. Hit G2. He's going to have to block. And I mean, this end game is just going to lose. I think he'll actually resign. No, I guess not. Yeah, he resigns. Let's keep going. Go C4. I didn't even look at the board. Hopefully, this isn't a blunder. Uh, it might be a blunder. Okay, let's go here. Wait, what? What? <laughs> That's a free rook. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh dear. That's not how the doubters want to go go lose the bet, but they're going to lose the bet this way. That's not that's not how you how you want to lose the bet, but Oh well, that's life. Sag. He's stalling. The funny thing it says he's going to auto resign in three seconds. Uh, what? That's a free knight. <laughs> Let's go here. I mean, all I have to do is get castle. That's it. I'll go F3. I'm going to make sure I can castle. That's all I have to make sure that I can do. I have knight g5, maybe? I'm going to just go here and castle, and there's just no danger. Check and mate. Classic ice skater with the king on e8. Classic. All right, let's keep going. Next game, we're playing Vukwar. Okay, so I think I got there, right? 51 was the bet. I don't know if this is a move, but I'm going to play it. Oh, it is. It's actually a good move. I hit the pawn on h2. Wait. Maybe not, though. Wait. Let's go d5. So he can't take the pawn. Okay. Looks wrong. I'm gonna go here to hit the rook. Oh, he can just take the pawn. What am I doing? Nah, I guess I have to play this. Still even material, but I'm not very happy about it. Go here, hit the knight. Kind of a slight problem on the diagonal now for, for white. Before I can obviously trade, I can also just go like 95 maybe. I can also just castle. Go rook d8. I have e6 next to move. I think a Klinger SX for the prime. I think it's Klinger SX. I thought I had some kind of knight c4 trick, but I guess I don't. Feels like I should have something here. Um, I'm just going to go here. I don't know if it's a move, but I'm going to try it with like rook b8 and some kind of tactic. It's knight a5. Again, I feel like there should be some tactic here. Like knight d3 and bishop... Wait, do I just have bishop d3 maybe? Got rook c1. 
I, I'm so sure there should be there should be some kind of tactic here that's fine for me, but I don't. Weirdly, I don't see it because of this ice skater on the back back rank. I'll also go knight a4 maybe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go knight a4, which is kind of a very weird move, but I want bishop d3. I also want h5. I think. I think knight a4 is probably wait. What? Oh my god, he he can block. Oh jeez, I didn't even see. Uh, now I don't even have a choice. I have to do it. Now I lose to the back rank mate. Wait, what? C7 was winning for. Wait, what? Now I just go back and I win the game. C7 was winning. He had knight f1. He missed it. Oh well, I'll take it. Uh, shot and take. Hey, we got another win. Let's keep going. It happens. It happens. What can I say? That's life. Sometimes you're sometimes you're the bug. Sometimes you're the windshield. Oh wait, no, that's a blunder. Wait. Okay, wait. A uh, five he just takes a pawn. What am I doing? We'll play knight g6 here. Go e5. Let's go d5. Take the whole center here. Go here. Just castle next move. Should be pretty decent. Son, son, here we come. Okay, so I just take, I have e4. I mean, all of this looks very, very pleasant for me. I mean, I've got a great center. This is a classic Meroxy bind. Very hard to complain. This is Arena Kings, yeah. No, Vedic on two out of two is very good, by the way. Uh, Vedic on two out of two, since he already played one event. I mean, I'm very happy to see that. On each, of course, not as thrilled by, but seeing Vedic do well, which basically takes Richard out of the equation, potentially is very good for me. Um, no, no, it's 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 very good that Vedic's on two out of two for my for my chances to qualify. That's that's exactly what I want. Isn't Vedic a threat? No, because Vedic already played one event. That's the thing. Vedic already played one event. I did where did actually what group was Vita even in? I don't remember. I thought I don't even remember what, what group Vita played in. Uh I don't know if he got points, but I'm I mean the thing is 13 is never good enough. Like I'm gonna have to finish second or first in my group no matter what. So um You played in C. I didn't skip the event, you guys. You played two out of three, that's why. Vita doesn't play the third event, for example. Oh, he finished second, so he got four points. Yeah, but the point but the, but the thing is. Uh, the, the 13 is never going to be good enough. Now, I'm going to get... I don't know if this is a good move, but I kind of want to go for it. I get a knife on F4. And as the legendary former world chess champion, um, uh, Gary Kasparov said, a knife on F4 is worth at least a queen. West Coast, best coast, East Coast, West Coast, <laughs> East Coast, least coast. <laughs> good one. Um, but yeah. He tied for second, so he's on three points. Yeah, yeah. I guess I can take with the knight. I mean, I don't know if it's right, but it looks looks aggressively aggressive with knight f4, knight h3 coming back the other way. Go here. And now I go here, and now I just checkmate in one move. Just GG's. If Vita wins Belgrade, that would be good news. I mean, the thing is, I don't know if that's great news, but the thing is, 17 points is what I need anyway, so it doesn't matter. Go here. But yeah, taking Richard out, Richard is far more dangerous. Wait, isn't that a free rook? Actually, it's not a free rook. Weirdly. It's weirdly not a free rook. Yeah, it's, it's not a free rook somehow. It's kind of strange. 
But this is almost like a Zugzvong. Some it's almost like uh, the the other thing we played with the game of the knights. I think it was. Although I should be winning now because I get d4 and now I just activate. And this king is very iffy. His pieces are also very bad here. You get a moist gooseberry for the 16. Thank you so much for moist gooseberry. I'm going to just go check. F6, I go knight h5 and I'm just doing great. I can take or I mean I guess I just take the rook oh this is game over I can also castle next move so that's just GG's up to 63 points very very smooth so far minimum points I need in the next Grand Prix I need to finish second or better in my group if I finish second in my group I get four points which takes me to 17 I haven't looked at the math, but I know a lot of people were saying 17 is probably the critical number unless something crazy happens. It's either 17 or it's 20. I think those are the two cutoff points um, uh, where where good bad good or bad things happen. Uh, at least that was my understanding. So like if I get to um, if I get to 17, that's probably good. If not, uh, then it's, that's 20. The 17 is because there are people who can have four points second place in the first event they play. And then they can have um, 13 points from winning the second, winning the second or third event, which is how you get to 17. Or there's 20, which is you finish in the semifinals, like Richard Rapport did, um, and then you uh, win the next, win your second event to get to 20. Those are the two critical, critical points as far as I know. I'm gonna go e5, which probably is not a good move, but I'll play knight d6 here. Yeah, I think I think 20 and 19 are, are the are the critical point number numberings as far as I mean that's that was my understanding. Uh, Richard is seven, so if Richard wins the event, he gets to 20. That's that's why I'm saying that the two critical numbers, I mean at least as I understood it, were 17 and 20. It, or basically, if I get to uh, if I get to 20, it's probably pretty safe. 17 is the other other number. Just win both. I mean, obviously that's the goal. Um, I guess I'm gonna go a5. I don't know if it's a good move. I'm kind of a little bit over expanding here, but take. Oh, okay, fine. I'll just. Oh, but he can castle too. Thirteen plus seven beats ten plus ten. Yes, because the the first tiebreaker is winning an event. So that's why that's why I, that's why I actually have really good odds. Is my understanding? Because if if I tie, let's say I finish second in my group and someone else gets the seventeen. Like let's just say Levon makes the semifinals and let's say he makes the finals and then he loses in the semis in the next event. That's seventeen. But I have second place. That's um that I I win the tiebreaker because I won an event. That's that's why it's actually. I, I didn't think it made a big difference whether I won the event or finished second objectively, but it does. It makes a big difference. I'm going to go here and just rook b8. And I mean, white's got big, big problems here. Go here, do the stack. I guess I'll just take... Oh, did I just blunder d5? Maybe I did. He doesn't take advantage. If he goes bishop e2, I can obviously take. I can also play just d5 to take away bishop c4. But yeah, 17 is the is the number uh, as far as as far as I as far as I understood it. I guess I'll go here. I think I just blundered, but whatever. Oh no, I didn't. I have bishop a4 maybe, and I have rook b1. Never mind. I'm still okay. Okay, we're gonna get another win um definitely finishing in the top 16 though if you're second in your group that's four points yeah take i mean this is obviously just winning so go here to hit the bishop i'm gonna go bishop b6 maybe i also lock the bishop in permanently so there's no scope uh, everything wins here, but I think check is the safest way. Check. I 
go here. Okay, resigns. Let's keep going up to 67. There should be classical 960. Classical 960 would be interesting. I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to play A5 and A4 here, I think. I'll take. Go back to F7, I guess. I don't know if it's the right square, but it seems reasonable. I have B6 here. Oh, did I just... Oh, I didn't see E4. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful move by my opponent. Uh, I might just be lost here, actually. I didn't even see that. That's a... That's that's a beautiful move. Although maybe I can still make a draw. I think I still maybe can make a draw. That's a nice move. I think I'm still drawing though. Bishop e2, knight c7. Yeah, this is very scary, but I think I'm okay. I mean, I actually should pre-move king c7 because there's no move he can play that prevents it. So I should pre-move it in case it's a. Well, maybe there's there's probably no need because then he'll probably go knight b7. I'll feel like an idiot. But he has a lot of moves. Even knight b7 here. I guess I go bishop c7. I'm okay with knight d6. But yeah, this is very strange. Thinking for a long time here. Okay, he's just gonna make the draw, I guess. Oh no, he's not. Oh, he wants to play on. Interesting. With this order. If I go knight d6. Six, knight b6 takes queen a7, king c8. I think I'm okay here, although again, it's very hard to calculate what's going on. Very, very hard to calculate. Checks, I. Wait, rook b7. Wait, rook b7, knight... Uh, I have to go here. That's so weird. B7, I'm trying to figure out if I can go rook b7. Knight b6, basic. Okay, fine. Let's, I, 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 well, first of all, I have to play this move. It's the only move I have. First time I see me below 3100, this is uh this is 960. Can I go knight b7 is a question. Probably not really, but I kind of want to. Knight b7. Rook b7. <sighs> Rook b7, knight b6. Take six, knight b7, rook a8, c5. I'm gonna fudge it. Let's go for it. Let's see. Let's go for it. I know this is actually a move, but I'm gonna go for it. Oh, he takes. I thought he would do the other move. Wait. Maybe I'm still losing. Wait. Uh, I guess I have to go here. Go here. He's actually misplayed this. I think I'm kind of in the game somehow now. Because now my king at least... King is still very bad. But now I have rook b8 to kick the queen out at some point. I also have bishop e7, bishop c5. And I think I'm in the game. Let's go here. Actually, I I, I think I'm some, somehow in this game. It doesn't make any sense why I am. But I think I am. I'll take... Bishop c5 maybe? Oh, I think that was a maybe a bad move. Yeah, I think that was just a bad move by me. Go here. Of course, I blundered that. But I do it. Wait, King D eight. Uh, 
No, that's a blunder too. Yeah, I missed E6 and now I just lose. Wait, but now he blundered. Wait, he just blundered right back. Wait. No, now I'm winning because I have Queen C4. He had to take the Rook. And now he just reopened the diagonal. And now he's going to lose because I take the pawn and the whole chain collapses in a heap. I think it's a Rajesh Bardwaj for the 10 months. I think it's a Rajesh. Okay, so I go check. There should be a checkmate in here. Wait, so check. No mate. Oh wait, I don't have time either. Okay, I guess um There we go, checkmate. Now there went up to seventy one, a few more games to go. Few more games. Few more games to go. Yeah, that was a, that was a, that was a tough game though. No, no, not easy at all. Have I been a passive park? No, I haven't. If you draw, just take it. Yeah, that was just a crazy game. Uh, I'm gonna go F6. I don't know. If it was a good move. Go here. I'll just trade the bishops. Why not? I'm gonna take all the center here. I'm gonna go G5, maybe G4 here. There is prize money, yes. The $500 first prize. I missed knight d2, or I would have gone knight b5. Here, let's trade. Well, like you made a mistake. I'll obviously grab a pawn. Actually, I think I'm just going to grab this pawn. Why not? Looks like a free pawn unless I'm blind, which is always possible, of course. But I cut him off with a 5. My bishop on eight is actually pretty crummy here. Like very crummy he takes, but I just take. And now I just take in castle. And I mean, I'm not really much better because my bishop is still very poor. Okay, let's go here. Bring the rook in. Rotate the bishop back. Should be pretty decent though. His knight also, his knight is very bad on B2 as well though. No jump. What he's going to do here. 960 is fun to watch, but I understand even less the standard. Yeah, 960 is very brutal. It's a 960 is very hard to follow. And of course, I just blundered, obviously, because it's just what I do best. Go here again, open up the triangles. Offers a trade. I mean, Let's start opening up the diagonal here. Here. Wait, but now I can take and bring the king in, I think. Should be okay for me. Do. Guess I go here. That's a bad move, actually. I think. Maybe not. Let's see. So go here. Go here. I think that he missed. He made a mistake. Now he doesn't have the knight g5 capture, and now my instinct says that I'm winning. Again, I also have the connect four, which is important. Go here. Oh, wait, no. Wait, is this the wide people? Wait. 
It's the wide peepos. My pawns are too split. My pawns are split wide. Pawns are split wide and he loses. If he pushes, I go h5, d3, h4. So he has to go here. But I have the outside pawn. With an outside pawn, I should be winning. Okay, now I should be winning. I just don't trade the pawns. That's all. Yeah, another win, another good good game. So I'll go F3. I don't know if this is a good move. Oh, I lost this guy yesterday in the in title Tuesday, so I'm actually not gonna mess around. I'm just gonna try really hard to smoke him in this game. E4, just build a big center here. A vengeance? Yeah, it's payback time. I have rook h4, knight f5. Knight f5, the double double. And I think I'm winning material here as well. I hit the knight, I hit the queen, and I forked the knight and the queen, but the queen is under attack from the double attack, so the meme does not apply here. So I'm forking the queen and the knight, but his queen is still under attack. So I take. Meme doesn't quite work. Almost. I'll just go. Wait, I gotta be a little bit careful. Okay, I'll just go e5, h4, g3. It's all just winning. Uh, he was not 2400, though. He's like 2750 at blitz, I think. No, he's not 2400. f4, remove the queen. Look at D's knights. They're really jumping here. D's knights are really good. I think. Let's go here. Oh, I had knight G. No, wait. Knight G6 was no good. I guess I just. I am making this a little bit interesting. And I'm not really sure why I am. But I guess I just go here. Yeah, D's knights are jumpy, though. They're very jumpy. Because rook f6, I can obviously just take, I guess. Yeah, now I go here, and even though I only have one knight, I mean, this is just crushing. I go here, queen f7, I also have bishop g6. Designs, let's keep going. V at one, okay, nice. Okay, another win. One more win, and we'll be uh, in the lead, I think, or close to it at least. I have no idea who number, number 16 is going to be, though. Let's go here. This might be a bad move. I have a feeling this is the first time that I'm playing a bad, very poor first move, but maybe not. F4. Oh, he's 1797. Jeez. Okay. Um. Okay, five. Okay, I guess I'll go check. Okay, next game. This is probably not a good move either, but anyway, let's try. Ninety-three. Play G three. Um, hmm. So I'm gonna play C three here. Maybe Bishop G two. What's that sound? That's uh, someone's mowing the lawn. Oh, it's about to blunder knight three. That's the uh, someone's mowing the lawn or something outside. Knight d five and d four. Let's go b four. I'm trying to make this as weird as possible. 
Let's go a five kick the knight out. I'm gonna go here. I have knight b5. I mean, this looks very bad for black objectively. Let's go here. Actually, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna take and look at these bishops. These bishops are amazing. And look at his queen and his king. I mean, everything's just really under big attack here. Major fire. Another quick win up to 87. We're about two good games away from just finishing off the event in play uh in style. Oh wait, there's a way for white to win win material here. Let's play f5. I don't even know what's right. Let's go b5, make this weird. How's Florida? It's fine. I mean, I I, I lived here, you guys. It's not really it's not like I'm I'm moving or anything. I mean, this is where my house is. It's always been here. Just for Alan, I'm gonna put the rook on b6 and play this like very weirdly again. I've got the active hippie rook on b6 here. Just make put the bishop on a weird diagonal. Um, I guess eh, c5 is a move. F4 is a move. I'm gonna play c5 and just take. Again, I'm getting a rook on the edge of the board. Kind of weird, but I think it's okay for me. This rook's there. I think I have potential to start activating everything, but I think I think this knight d3 is actually a problem here. So I have to find a move. This rook c1, I can't be happy. A four is a move. It was e4. I guess I'll take. Okay, let's redevelop, redeploy the knights. I'm gonna go c4 anyway. Knight e5, huh? Hmm. Probably I misplayed this just a little bit. Maybe more than it looks like hung material here, I think. Maybe not. I guess I can take with a pawn. I also have queen c5, maybe. 97, 95, queen c5, right? Yes. 95, I have check. Anonymity for the eight months. I have blue panther for the prime. I think it's so much blue panther. I just take and trade. Friday, Saturday, Saturday, and Sunday weekend. Party every day. Here goes Queen F4, which I'm a little bit surprised by. Because now I can hit the pawn and everything's kind of guarded here. Not so enthused by my opponent's move. So after Rook B3, I'm just doing great. They need a hot Sakekalots for the Prime. Thank you so much to hot Sakekalots for the Prime. Hot Sakekalots. Okay, thank you so much. Hot. No, hot Seklots. Sorry, hot Seklots. Oh, wait, that hangs the knight. What am I doing? Oh, now I hung a pawn. Oh, yeah, yeah. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go h5 here. Need a mad mod men for the prime. Thank you so much to mod men. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to mod men. Sir Kexalot. <laughs> Yeah, this is Alan Picho. Yeah. Now I hit both pawns. I don't like H3, by the way, at all. Because now at some point, I think there's going to be some H4 and dark square weaknesses everywhere. Um, That actually is probably a good move. I'll make a check. Knight C2 is a good move that I kind of missed. Hmm. This probably is a blunder somehow, but I'm going to play it anyway. I think it's Jamaica Runner for the 19 months. My car is starting to sound like VVVVVVVV. What is this?
king h2. But now I go h4, and now there's this queen g3 flick again. Like I said, this is why I didn't like this h3 move. Because there are always these weird dark square tricks now. Yeah, there, there always are tricks here. Three? What? Oh, rook c6 is queen a8 check. Okay. Oh, is my rook trapped, actually? Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. I trapped my rook, maybe. Jamaican runner just subscribed. My car is starting to sound like V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V Jamaican runner just subscribed. My car is starting to sound like V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V Jamaican runner just subscribed. What's going on? Come on. is starting to sound like What? There's a Botez Gambit. Um <laughs> Thank you, jo Wait, why is it just auto playing? What the heck? I hit replay like one time and it's playing it like five times. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just take. Uh, yeah, okay, you guys. Okay, we get it. We get it. It's funny. It's all. It's all. It's all very funny. Or not repeat. I hit replay one time to replay the sub. Let's go here. When I'm gonna cut my hair, it's getting long. Uh, maybe like never. That sounds like a good idea. I maybe a bishop h4 or something here. Goes to f5. I kind of expected that, but I thought I had some trick with bishop h4, but I guess I don't. Um, hmm. I should go here and hit the pawn. Seems to make some sense. Buying hair is is overrated. I mean, yeah. If I hit 20k subs, go bald. Yeah, if I ever did that, I could totally... I mean, it would grow back, obviously. So, it would grow back. Am I stronger in 960? No, I don't think I am. Um, I just take. So he has to trade, but now we play the swap. And I think I'm just winning here. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Actually, wait a second. Oh, I don't believe this. I think he has a trick here, maybe. He has a trick, I think. I don't believe this. He has some trick. Or no, he doesn't. Wait. Oh, he didn't go G3. I thought he would. Wait. Let's go here. Okay, but now somehow I just need to get castled. Um, just go here. Because once I get the king in, I should be fine. Do I think I'm the best 960 player in the world? No clue whatsoever. Literally no idea. Um, have no clue. Go here. Go here. I have 93, and I think I'm just in time. I don't know what that... Uh, okay, I, I need to build the chain. Okay, I guess I go... Wait, king e3 is wrong. Let's go here. Oh, bishop g2 is a better move than this, but it's still good. Should be winning for me eventually. Go here. Yeah, Magnus crushed Wesley after losing, or, or Wesley crushed, Mag crushed Magnus after losing me. That is true. We're what? We're plus eight. Five plus three, we're plus eight. So probably one more game, and then, then I'll probably stop. Take a break and chill.
I actually don't know what I'm doing in this game. This is a very weird position also. But I have a space advantage on the, on the king side, which is kind of important, I think. I'm gonna go knight d6 here. Not a lot that he can do on the um, on the queen side, I feel like. I mean, h4 seems like a safe move. f5, b5 is also maybe a move, but I don't really know what it does. I don't really want to castle queen side. I also don't really want to play f5. I think I'm just gonna go h4. I don't know if it makes sense, but it seems reasonable to lock the queen in on h1. Go rook c8. The Russian owner is selling Chelsea and giving the money to Ukraine. Wait, what? Wait, Roman Abramovich is selling Chelsea? You're trolling. There's no way. No way. You're trolling. Take. No, he is? Wait, what? You're, you're trolling, right? He says he's going to sell the Chelsea soccer club amid Ukraine... Whoa, he said he's gonna instruct he's instructed the team to set up a foundation that will use all the net proceeds of the sale of Chelsea to benefit all victims of the war in Ukraine. What? Whoa, that's a little bit crazy, isn't it? Isn't he supposed to be like one of those like like I thought he was really close to Putin too? Wow. That's crazy. Let's go D4. Knight a4. Wow, that's crazy. That's insane. All right, wait a second. Okay, so my bishop on a1 doesn't look right at all. I think I'm just going to go d3 and c4. Maybe just pile on, try to open up this uh, queen side at all costs. Again, I still can castle too. Let's not forget that. I always can castle if I want to. b4 seems suspect. If I take knight b5, whatever, I don't believe him. I'm just going to go for this. I'm going for something a little bit insane. Reddit react. Oh, that's right. We do have Reddit react. We, it's breaking news on BBC. Wow. Wait, now if I take, he takes. This is made, I think. I have rook b4 and rook a4. I'm not going to even castle my king this game. That's how uh, that's how good I am. I'm just going to take and go queen b2. Another win. Okay, let's go c3. I guess I'll go bishop c2 here. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Can't stop, won't stop. Yeah. Oh, right. I said I was going to stop after that win because I have the tournament guarantee, but we'll try to go over 100 points. Let's play off four here. Oh, I meant to go G4. Oh, I, I thought... Oh, I didn't... I meant to play G4. Okay, let's go D3. Go here. Target this diagonal now. I'll take, why not? And play like knight f2, maybe? Good g4 here. Breaking news is you just joined. Yeah. <laughs> Go here. I want to castle my king to the queen side at some point. f5 was also an interesting move. I'm going to go f5 to go bishop f4 now. Now there's pressure on the diagonal too, as well. I'm gonna go here. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of pressure suddenly on this knight. Go here. I don't even think f6 was the best move, but let's castle. There's massive pressure here that's building up. Oh, wait. We go f7. 
What's the move? Knight f7 loses because I take. If takes, I take the queen. Queen f7, bishop d6 is just winning, I guess. If knight f7, bishop f7, I'm winning too. And if queen g7, I just take on d6. I take and then I make a new queen and my rook guards the pawn. That's GG's. Because now I take, I make the queen, and it's just winning. Could have played rook d5 too, but this is all collapsing. All right, we got the W, guys. We win this. Uh, we win this arena. We're gonna finish with one or three. Knockout is coming up shortly, so I'm gonna take a short break, and um, we'll be right back, and we'll play the knockout portion. So give me a few.